Hey guys, White Lightning here, and today, today I thought something really stupid. See, I bought two pounds of Dum Dums, and I ate all of them, and I do mean all of them. And I have all the wrappers. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of wrappers. Don't eat this many Dum Dums. Serious, don't eat this many Dum Dums. You will regret it. I'm already regretting it. I'm addicted to them now. So addicted. It's a problem. But yes, I need to find something to do with all these things. So I've got my trusty computer. So I'm gonna see if I can find something we can do with all these dum-dums. Hope to see you on the flip side. All right, so now I guess we're going to wait for my computer to boot up, but then we're gonna find out what to do with my dum dum wrappers. And I'm being serious, don't eat this many dum dums. This was probably one of the my worst decisions I've ever made, eating this many dum dums in a day. I'm probably gonna like, get a heart attack or something. Something really bad is probably gonna happen to me. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Just, right, just so don't. I used the Google and I looked up um, things to do with dum dum wrappers. These are a lot of difficult things to do. Good. These things look difficult. Like, really difficult. That looks cool. Origami. That could be fun. See, I, I don't want to. I don't want to do a lot of work. I just want to be able to make something cool. You know what, I'm gonna fold a ninja right, star. So a night um, limited experience with making origami things, and I do mean very, very limited. I'm I'm not by any means origami expert dude. But I'm going to use Well I think this might be easier to show than you know, to try to talk I'm about it. I'm going to use my A push textbook to try and flatten out a wrapper. This might not work. It looks like it worked. No, let's open up the middle of the thing. Let's find a weird page. Rural manufact the China trade. All right, we're gonna do it right here. What page is that? That is page two hundred fifty-one. So, following the revolution, New England merchants did some crazy shit in Asia. Oops, no, they did some crazy stuff in Asia. I'll edit out the swearing. Gonna flatten it. And I already forgot what page it was on. That was smart. It was really smart of me. See, I knew this thing would come in handy eventually. Oh dear. Where did I put the Chinese dudes? It was like 251, right? There it is! Um, I suppose it's flatter? I don't think I did that correctly. Let's try flattening it with a Rubik's Cube, because why not? All right, it appears like the Rubik's Cube is actually working with that last thing. I'm gonna be real, I have no idea how to solve a Rubik's Cube, but this thing is only solved because whenever I get really, I decide to feel like adventurous, I'm gonna mess it up. I go to my friend Luma208, who I'll try to put a picture of or link him in the description down below to his channel. He does weird stuff with Legos. I do weird stuff, just weird stuff in general. Yeah, he just solves it for me every time, so that's useful. Thanks, buddy. It seems like the best way for me to do this, like this whole flatten things out thing, is um, using the edge of the Rubik's Cube, like so. Actually, this is probably the first time in my entire life that that's like productive with a Rubik's Cube. In the future, I'll get someone to hold the camera for me, just today. Well, I don't know. I just wanted to do this because I have so many of them, and if I don't get rid of them somehow... Well, it makes me feel good about what I did. It makes me feel like I did something productive and smart when I ate... Like, a hundred-something dum-dums. 
That actually worked. Wow. I, I, I actually did not expect that to work. All right, cool. Hey, look, it's a cloth merchant. Fun. He did stuff. All right, so we got ourselves instructions. Yay. All right, so now you can sort of see what I'm doing as I try to do something fun with this. I'm supposed to fold the paper in half and then unfold. This is like wax paper, good lord. Actually, I wonder if you could use this stuff as wax paper. If you could like bake with it, or if that would just be like a horrific idea that would end in misery and horrible things, like more misery. All right, I folded it in half, now I'm supposed to unfold it. I'm so good at this, I'm proud of, I have to cut it in half. Well, I have scissors somewhere. I had to cut open the bag. Where'd I put, there they are. How to be safe with scissors, yes. Scissors. Um, I'm gonna be safe with scissors. That means I'm not gonna cut my nose off. Uh, I'm not going to stick them in my mouth like this. That's a recipe for disaster, and I like my tongue. So if you're trying to do this at home or something, don't be mean. Don't don't pull a Van Gogh and chop off your ear. Like, Ow, oh, shit. I, um, I need to stop swearing. I'll edit that out. I'm not good at not swearing. If you guys care about me swear, don't care if I'm swearing... Then tell me that, and then I'll just stop editing it out. So I don't really like editing things out. But, see, now I can cut my lips off. Or so, I'm not going to cut my lips off. Definitely not going to, like, chop all my hair off. You know, if we get to a, if we get 100 views in this video, I'll probably, I'll consider cutting my hair off with this pair of scissors. If we get 1,000, I'll actually cut my hair off. Just, like, I'll just slice. Chop, chop, chop. Remove hair. And now I almost forgot what I was doing with the scissors. I'm so smart. All right, so I'm supposed to cut this in half. This, this'll end well. All right. The guy says, don't fuck up. Uh, oh, I need to stop swearing, really. Screw it. I'm just gonna swear and I'll edit it all out later. Um, he says he likes to fold it back and forth and uh, be careful or you'll mess up. Skizzers. Oh shoot, this thing is so wrinkly, I, can't, I can barely even figure out where the line is. If you're trying to do this at home, I would say... Be smarter than I am. I mean, if I, if I screw this up, I've got, like, a lot more wrappers. Oh, these, this is really easy to glide right through with these things. Fold the halves in half again so it's thinner. That is like the worst picture I've ever seen to help somebody. What? Oh. Oh, this is gonna be very complicated, okay. I fold it again like so. I'm supposed to fold it in half again so it's thinner. And I'll post a link to the website where I found instructions on how to do this because I am by no means craftsy. I'm just trying to do something stupid with something that was kind of the result of a stupid decision so yes folding I'm an origami master well I will be when I finish this honestly I think that dum dum wrappers might not be the ideal thing to use for this because these things are starting to get kind of difficult to work with but if you are stupid like I am and you have so many dumb dumb wrappers you've got no idea what to do with them, then by all means, fold ninja stars, unfold, all we need is the halfway crease. Okay. So now I'm unfolded. They look a lot like trident sticks of gum, don't they? Actually, dumb dumb should make trident, not trident, they should make gum. Trident, please sponsor me. And dumb dumb, if you see this video, Sponsor me, please. I want money. So I did money. have the book. This book, shout out. It was fun to read, I guess. When I had to read it. 
Although, what I do have a problem with is this Yoda thingy on the cover. It was impossible. It's literally a crumpled ball of paper. Like, if I were to take, I don't know. Here, I'll take a piece of paper and I'll crumple it up and try to make an origami Yoda. See, here we got yellow paper. Look, it's Yoda. I origamied. I mean, it's not even folded. It's like, it's just crumpled up. I spent hours as a kid trying to figure out how to fold that and failing miserably. But yeah, these weird books of like the horrible, with the sort of useful instructions in the back that were not good enough to help me. This is a weird book and it wasn't even about origami. It was about like a kid trying to get sex in the sixth grade with origami. Now I realize I'm totally not doing the book justice or something. My brother probably will yell at me because he loves that book. But it's about a kid trying to have sex in sixth grade. Basically. <laughs> I folded that wrong. These surikins. I'm on step like, I think I'm on step 11 now. These are no more difficult, I mean, those are no more easier than when I was on step one. You know, when I finish one of these, I'm going to throw it at my brother and see if it actually works. I have a younger brother. His name um, should be Little Lightning. He'll probably punch me if I call him that. And that's funny. I'll film that if he does. What in the heck am I supposed to be doing here? This is so complicated. I just folded a diamond. Why did I fold a diamond? I don't know why I folded a diamond. He's not telling me. He's just saying, you folded a diamond. Fun. Unfold, said diamond. Did I even do this correctly? I sort of did. All right. Now he says unfold, now go to the next page to continue. A lot of it's just unfolding and refolding. Turn the right sheet over. Uh. Huh? I'm confused. I am so confused. Oh. Oh. Oh, I get it. I get it. I folded it wrong. I was supposed to fold it like this during the last step. When I made the little diamond. I folded it backwards. Alright. So if I did this correctly. It says position it exactly as shown. I think I did it correctly. We'll soon see if I can do this. If I can, I'll be proud of myself. If I can't. I'll just say I did, and I'll get my brother to do it for me. Mwahaha. See, I'm diabolical. It's a big word. I don't like big words, usually. But that one's fun. Huh? Oh. Uh, that's complicated. What the frick? Does this one go, like... Oh, it goes, like... I realize I'm being very vague right now, and I apologize for that. But these are difficult instructions to obey. All right, it looks like this is going to have to be that one. Um, I think there was a tear in my dum dum thing, which is why I'm having these issues right now. Or my cutting it was a bad idea. I tried to position it and it's falling off. Alright, what do I have to do now? Tuck the what? Tuck the right flap of the bottom sheet onto the left side of the top sheet. Oh, I see.
What? That was crazy. That was difficult, but crazy. I origamied. Now what do I, I turn it around? Now what? Chuck this flap. The inside. Oh, that's cool. I did it. Well, I'm about to have done it. I think. Yep, I did it. <laughs> I tried a dum dum wrapper into a ninja star. I am so cool. Let's see if this ninja star thing you can actually fly. That actually works kind of well. Alright, you can't see it at all, can you? There, I had to throw it at the camera. We can kind of see it flying. It works pretty well. It's. Actually, it's surprisingly well cool. Actually, I really do enjoy it. I wish it was a lot bigger, cause it's it fits on my th it barely f it's like roughly the, half the size of my thumb. But still, we ninja star. Yeah, I'm a ninja. I will say this is actually really cool to throw. Yeah, I'm gonna see if see I'm gonna see if I can make a slow motion video. White lightning out.